Thank you for choosing to watch the Watchman News headlines video. Our full episodes can now be seen over at Patreon with much more added content for just $2 a month. Link is in the description. If you cannot afford $2 a month, please consider using our Amazon affiliate link, purchasing from our Teespring store, or making a PayPal donation. All links are below. In order for us to grow, we have to make changes to enable it. Our time is valuable, and we have been one of the very few news sources actually dedicated to bringing you honest, hard-hitting, actionable news and information. Plus, for your $2 a month, you do not have to hear me blabber about these links. It's a win for us all. Bullshit. Thank you. Good evening, watchmen and watchwomen of YouTube. So, uh, tonight, over on Patreon, we talked about wars and rumors of wars. And uh, not necessarily the, you know, biblical uh, aspect of it, but what I see going on currently, we talked about a little bit that I've been watching go on uh, over the course of several years now and, uh, and trying to piece it all together. And the rumors of war is a very, very important part of that um, because I certainly do think that there is uh, more than meets the eye on the world stage as what we are shown. So, very interesting episode over there. Um, we are continuing, continually building on our content over there. So, uh, might be a good idea at some point to, to join up and see what it is we got going on. So, not just trying to pimp myself, but uh, it, it, it is different over there. I can assure you that. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get the headlines and get done for the, uh, for the night because I'm ready just to, to relax. <laughs> it's been a bad pain day, so I was telling the folks over there on Patreon about it, and yeah, today's pain level has really certainly sucked. So, anyway, let's get on with some headlines and get on out of here. Uh, Parler's new acting CEO invites Trump and Biden to join civil discourse after platform goes back online. And I just see this as a gimmick, to be honest. I, I think they're just trying to draw attention to get people, more people to join their platform. It is what it is. It's not like that's going to happen. You know, and I, or you, you and I both know that that's not going to happen. Uh, Biden promises vaccines available to all Americans by the end of July, significantly less social distancing and masks a year from now. Whatever happened to 15 days? Do you remember 15? I remember 15 days. What happened to that 15 days? Uh, oh, by the way, I don't know if uh, you guys have been paying attention, but I was watching the COVID numbers, uh, still continuing to watch it on my end. Uh, here and there, not every day. But I noticed uh, after the 11th of this month, they stopped the, the like, tally, right? They, they just stopped it. Here, I'll, I'll do that real quick. And, uh, and it didn't move until yesterday. <laughs> yesterday, it finally moved again. But uh, it's the 17th, man. And they didn't move it until the 16th? Hmm... So I got to looking, and when I looked at it on the 12th, on the 12th, the number that I see over here was like over 10,000, and you guys know from, from prior shows over on YouTube that it wasn't uncommon to see some insane number over there, and then come the next day, it would be much less. Well, this is the next day, uh, that, well, from then, right, and it's 5,369. Now, you, I didn't see that plastered all over the headlines, did you? I wonder why I didn't see that plastered all over the headlines. And the other thing that I might add is that the fact that it went from uh, the 11th all the way until yesterday before they updated this. Hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. Anyway, continuing. Bitcoin at 50,000 is the biggest bubble of them all, says Goldbug Peter Schiff. Well, don't stop there. It goes higher. A verbal stumble or blatant lie. Biden says U.S. had no vaccine when he took office as new administration criticizes Trump's jab rollout. 
Russian warships take part in Pakistan-hosted Naval Amman 2021 maneuvers alongside NATO members, because, you know, there's such strife in between these nations, right? Hmm. Jeff Bezos overtakes Elon Musk to reclaim world's richest, richest person title. Another U.S. warship sails through South China Sea in challenge to China's territorial claims. And in fact, it's just such a challenge that they're right alongside of them in naval exercises. Uh, despite Russia's challenge to American values, State Department says Washington seeking further ways to improve stability with Moscow. Because once again, there's so much tension that they're participating in naval exercises together. Third wave is not over. South Korean PM warns against easing anti-coronavirus restrictions as infection numbers grow. At least 20 dead as winter storm pummels U.S. states, leaves millions in Texas without power in freezing temperatures. Facebook fined 7 uh, million euros in Italy after refusing to address user data concerns. Indonesia ramps up pressure on vaccine dodgers by allowing fines and sanctions ahead of phase 2 of immunization campaign. I fear that coming here. South Africa to administer globally unapproved Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 shot in healthcare workers trial looks to offload AstraZeneca jab because it's largely not effective on, the, uh, on their new variant. Uh, UK to, to deliberately expose volunteers to COVID-19 and world first trial after study given a green light. Communist MP once top Russian TV host prosecuted for calling Hitler's, uh, Hitler a very brave man in debate about comparisons with Navalny. Uh, playing politics while Texans freeze, Governor Abbott grilled after blaming Green New Deal for his state's power woes. Oil pushing higher as winter storm cripples U.S. energy sector. Scottish government criticized for slow response to COVID-19 pandemic, says a watchdog. Bitcoin rockets passed 51,000 to reach new all-time high. Injured New Zealand surfer saved on desolate beach after writing help in the sand, which is proof never give up. And the fact that he was found was still amazing because the location in which he, he was at like it said, a desolate beach. It wasn't an area that people would have normally seen anybody. But there just happened to be hikers that were hiking in the right place to where they saw his message and him. In fact, there's a, uh, in the article, there's actually a, a picture that they took of him laid out by the big me message help scrawled out on the, on the beach. So never give up. Russian agricultural exports boom as COVID-19 pandemic and freak weather ruin crop har harvest for American and European farmers. I gotta have a sip of tea. And real quick, mate. Ah, oh, yeah. Zen. Three months after Moscow brokered Armenia and Azerbaijan truce, Nagorno-Karabakh proposes making Russian an official language. Masked drivers banned from wearing sunglasses and hats, Germany's Saxony state says. Hmm, and the reason why is so that the uh, traffic cameras <laughs> can still identify them. That, I'm serious. That's what the article says. Uh, right there in the little blurb there. Drivers must still be identifiable by traffic cameras even when they follow existing health protocols and wear masks. <laughs> you know, gotta feed the state. After Olympic ses uh, sexism row, Japan's ruling party tells women they can attend meetings if they keep quiet. <laughs> 
Germany's vaccination program to pick up pace, but contagious UK variant now accounts for 22% of cases, the health minister warns. Morrison's customer rejects wearing a yellow sticker to mark him as exempt from wearing mandatory face mask. Um, like Jen pointed out earlier, wouldn't they have known? I mean, if it, why has he got to wear a sticker? I mean, <laughs> wouldn't it just be just as easy to see that he's not wearing a mask? Why? why that's, I tell you what. More and more, I'm starting to get on the, this is just about compliance boat. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Vaccine rollout will trigger new COVID variants, Oxford scientist warns, adding a new layer of complexity to pandemic fight. Putin slams caveman nationalism as detrimental to Russia, says every ethnicity should feel respected and at home in the country. Prince Philip admitted to hospital, expected to remain in care several days, says Buckingham Palace. Biden administration approves $200 million arms sale to Egypt despite concerns over human rights abuses. IAEA chief to visit Iran as country prepares to scale back cooperation with nuclear watchdogs. Only the strong will survive. Texas City Mayor resigns for lashing out at residents asking for help during the deadly storm. I mean, I, I posted the actual message, the, the Facebook post. I had posted over on my personal Facebook. And yeah, it's, it's over, the, over the top, way far over the top. Now, I'm not saying what this mayor has said is completely untrue because there are a lot of true facets to what he said. But it is no damn place for a city mayor to say it, right? Your job as a city mayor, as an elected official, is to come up with solutions, right? Solutions to try to help your people, not condemn them, okay? There was a lot of truth to what he said. But they were in the midst of a disaster, and that's all he had to offer was condemnation. Yeah, probably not the best quote-unquote leader. Boris Johnson concerned after secret video recordings of Dubai Princess Latifah's hostage situation aired. Breathing is optional. Internet groans after New York City requires double masking inside federal court buildings. Wonder if... Uh, Got to use double condoms, too. Hong Kong stock market turnover more than quadruples that of London's exchange, says the media. I, I wonder if Bill Clinton visits if they got to use double cigars. I'm just saying. Just saying. A uh, European Court of Human Rights demands Russia immediately free jailed opposition figure Alexei Navalny after appeal from lawyers. Moscow police conduct more than 100 probes into actions of riot officers at pro-Navalny rallies to determine possible, or possible wrongdoing. Or possible, we can make that word up. French education minister sparks outrage with warning about is Islamo-leftism in universities. See, they make words up, we can too. EU fighting increasing cases of COVID-19 vaccine fraud, von der Leyen says. Western countries imposing sanctions on Nord Stream 2 uh, want to make Russia pay for ge geopolitical project in the Ukraine, Putin says. Lockdown, surrender, question mark. Sweden warns of more restrictions and gears up to close restaurants and gyms. How well you fared with COVID-19 might be down to a Neanderthal gene lottery studies claim, which is kind of a concern of mine uh, with all this testing and all of that because I've long been concerned about them doing mass DNA testing on citizens. And, uh, yeah, I've got concerns about that, and I've been concerned about that um, for a long, long time. And then when they started doing the, uh, the no-refusal blood draws and stuff for the DUI checkpoints, yeah, that definitely tweaked my attention. 
And uh, now I really have to wonder about all this COVID testing. And I have to ask the question, could it possibly have something to do with DNA collection and identification? There's reasons why I have concerns about that. As as far as, um, well, I'm going to say bloodlines. I'm going to say bloodlines. Um, probably not in the same way, though, that a lot of people would think. Probably not in the same way. Uh, more in a chromosomal way. So, goes very deep. Very deep. Uh, foreign Trump Plaza Hotel, or former, foreign, whatever, former Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino demolished to tears in Atlantic City. Explosion injures three people at Lytle headquarters in Germany. BBC names a, a, a new, or let's see, BBC names as new chair ex Goldman Sachs banker who advised Boris Johnson and gave 400,000 pounds to UK's ruling party. Texas disaster is what happens when you don't pursue a green, uh, green New Deal, says AOC. U.S. charges three North Koreans with hack on Seth Rogen and James Franco movie and stealing $1.3 billion. India's trade union demands serious action against Amazon after report alleges it worked to dodge country's regulations. Mars for Musk, Bill Gates uninterested in battling Tesla tycoon to be the first on the red planet. Uh, Boris Johnson jokes at COVID vaccine center as he tries to put on tight gloves like O.J. Simpson. You know, hey, we have became way too soft. Can't we have a laugh once in a while? Can't we find something funny once in a while? I find that funny. I think that's humorous. I have no problem with a world leader cracking a joke once in a while. But that's just me. Facebook to ban Australian users from reading and sharing news in response to government's big tech bill. Quick, easy, and not so painful, South Africa's Ramaphosa gets Johnson & Johnson COVID jab as nation turns back on AstraZeneca. A no violations allowed, watch Russian su 27s intercept trio of French planes over the Black Sea. Shopkeeper who stopped robbery in California by shooting into the air is arrested for discharging his gun. Yes. Stopped a robbery, right? Didn't harm anybody. Shot into the air to stop a robbery and gets arrested for discharging his gun. Hey, the same thing happened in Florida to a lady who was trying to stop an attacker. This was many years ago. She fired her weapon into the air and wound up getting arrested for it. And actually did time, as I recall, did time for doing that. It's ridiculous. Liberals show their true colors by dancing on Rush Limbaugh's grave within minutes of learning about his death. We don't normally cover stuff like that here, but yeah, uh, Rush Limbaugh did pass today, I believe the age of 70. So, not a fan. I never was a fan. I'm not going to sit here and step on the man or anything. Um, but I don't like mouthpieces and that's what I thought of of him. I just thought of him was a, a, a very belligerent conservative mouthpiece. And yeah, I, I wouldn't have been for that either on the left or the right whatsoever. But, uh, you know, it's very notable to a lot of people. And, and a lot of people did listen to him and look up to him. And, uh, you know, again, I, when I said what I said, I'm not stepping down on him. I don't like that from anybody, you know, uh, either side. But, uh, you know, I think it's pretty bad that they chose it as a, a moment, especially when they're supposed to be behind all this unity stuff. Um, it, it's, just, it's just so ridiculous. It truly is. 
Barcelona protests erupt in violence for second night in a row after Spanish rapper arrested for insulting King. Seven people shot outside of Philadelphia transit station, one suspect in custody. BLM activist fired after burning Trump and Coulter books from the library he worked at. And then he turns on and, and blames discrimination, right? Discrimination. And it turns out that, okay, how this, how this works is apparently uh, they, they send their employees to find books that are either uh, misinformation or books that are outdated or messed up or whatever the case, and then they bring those books to uh, the individuals in charge. The individuals in charge go over those books and they flag some of them um, for release, more or less. I'm going to call it release. And the employees can take those books and do whatever they want with them, art projects or whatever it is that they want to do with them, take them home, add them to their collection, whatever the case may be. But uh, apparently uh, the books in question were not released. They were not flagged for release. So apparently this cat just took these books off the shelf and went and burned them. So, tough titty, dude. Israeli PM Netanyahu says he had a friendly and warm call with U.S. President Biden. Biden signals green light for reparation study as Congress pressed bill to examine uh, slavery and discri discrimination from 1619 to present. U.S. developed Pfizer and Moderna vaccines produce three times less antibodies against South African strain of COVID-19, says lab studies. Uh, you will be destroyed. New York's Cuomo threatens lawmaker over criticism of nursing home deaths and sends aid after harassment accuser. Trump says poll shows tremendous support for a 2024 run and slams Democrats and McConnell in TV interviews. And I do see a number one up there. Let me see what it is. Collateral damage, Facebook's purge of Australian news inadvertently hits charities, health organizations, and government pages. Um, so I will say this about this article here. I, I will honestly say I'm shocked. I, uh, and I had even said, I even reported that I really didn't see that uh, whatsoever a 2024 run. We might see it. We might see it. So if we do, I was wrong. And I, I'm the first to admit when I'm wrong. I was wrong. And uh, we'll see. It's, it's not happened yet, but we'll see. So anyway, I am out of here for the night. I hope everybody has a good evening. God willing, we'll see you again tomorrow for headlines. As always, God bless you. We love you. Be one with your spirit. And shalom.